Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Evelyn, the Evelyn here at Crane's Heart. I am very glad to see you today. So, small confession. <laughs> I try to aim towards the end of the month, like the 25th or the 26th of the month, before I set up my bullet journal and upload it. Uh, I was not able to wait this month because I was really excited about my theme of reds and pinks and rose colors and mushrooms. The, in particular, the ones that are so popular among a lot of boojoers because they're really easy to do or find stickers of, and that's the one with the red caps with the white dots. So I've, I had a stationary and sticker pack that had a lot of those in them, and I really like those stickers. So I will have that linked in the description below. I will also have uh, the fine tip markers, the pens, the half the Creole was linked, but I don't advise getting them off of Amazon. I actually advise going to a family dollar or dollar general because they're going to have the 20 pack for like four to five dollars way cheaper than what you're going to find on Amazon. So definitely consider step going into those, checking out their stationary stuff, because you can actually find a couple brands of fine tip uh, in the, those particular stores as well. So as I said, a bunch of links in the description, and we're going to turn this over to voiceover Evelyn. LT says hi, and I will see you guys at the end of the video. Hey guys, Voice of Ellen here. And you can see the sticky note where I made a whole bunch of notes <laughs> about what I need in my spreads. Um, here's all my stickers. So, as you can see there, I had to add another page to my video dashboard. So the video dashboard is actually going to end up being much bigger in the month of April because I've actually started storyboarding a little bit my days and stuff so that I can keep track of what I have filmed, what I haven't, and yeah. I should probably actually give you guys a link to the glue stick pack that these come from. <laughs> it's a 60 pack of glue sticks and I just like using them better than the, you know, glue tapes because the glue tapes run out pretty fast. <laughs> if you notice anything kind of moving around a little bit, it's because I have a window right there in front of my desk and I had it open because it was a gorgeous day. This is my leftovers tracker. Now the leftovers tracker I incorporated in because my husband and I will end up with a lot of leftovers sometimes and we end up many times having once upon a time throwing them away because we've completely forgot. But now that I've got the leftover tracker started, it's been working out great. You'll note that I only did a half a page for my gratitude this month, for this month of April, and only did a um, half page for this month's recipe. I'm only doing a half page for projects 
and I'm only doing a half page for goals. Now right here, I'm setting up a water slash hydration tracker. This is my sleep tracker and my temperature tracker. And I have found that I do very much like having these three trackers. As you can see, they don't take up very much space. <laughs> and this is where one of my pins died. <laughs> it's always a good idea to have scratchy paper next to you. Actually, no, that wasn't where a pin died. I got a little too much black ink on that particular marker. If you hear page turning in the background of the voiceover, that's me looking at my April Bujo so that I, I keep track of where I'm at in the voiceover. Now, for the trackers this month, uh, I've just got my self-care, and then I've got a, I'm gonna have a space in between the self-care and the inside, because I needed a space to write down all of the once a month things, because I completely forgot to have a space for that in March. And then over here on the opposite side, there is the homestead slash outside chores that have to be taken care of. And you will note that I am putting my trackers in first before I'm adding all of my decoration. This is just so that I have more space. I know what it is I'm working with. There's where we're on my pin side. <laughs> and I had to throw that one away. Right about here is when I remembered, oh, I have washi tape, new washi tapes that might look really, really good in some of these spreads. Linked in the description. And as always guys, none of my links in my description are affiliate links. Uh, we're just not a big enough channel yet for that. And Amazon has some pretty ridiculous standards for their um, affiliates in terms of the amount of traffic that needs to come through your affiliate link in order to stay active so yeah you can see me here going a little sticker happy Now this month I'm experimenting with a new kind of weekly tracker. I think it's called an Alistair or Alistar. I'm just not sure. Because I had seen this um, be talked about on Jashi Curran's channel and Mark from Men Who Bullet mentioned it a couple of times. So it's really simple. I've just got a running checklist down on the left hand side and on the right hand side I have my ongoing projects and then a running notes tab. And that running notes tab will extend over around to the next page and will fill up as many pages as I need. So many stickers. I'm trying to actually get these all used up, so I'm using them in my junk journals, which are my long form journals. Um, there's my month in review page. <laughs> and here's where I noticed I put the wrong month on there. Now that first weekly does cover the first and second, which are a Friday and a Saturday, and then through on to the next week. And I just basically right there on the right hand side of that checklist, write down what needs to be done. Hi Fiona. I don't know if you guys heard her there. The rest of this is just me setting up the decoration for the rest of the weekly spreads, because I'm going to be trying this Alistair or all I don't know how to say it, but I will have it linked in the description on how to utilize it and how it's actually spelled. <laughs> so, but yeah, this is just me doing the rest of the pre-decorating um, without filling anything else in. And I've really started really liking the kind of collaging, scrapbooky kind of look. And it just feels a little bit more like me and what I like to do.
And here's our final flip through. My much bigger video dashboard. Leftovers tracker with gratitude in this month's recipe. Projects and goals. Water, sleep, temperature trackers. And the new weekly things that I'm going to be trying out. So many tabs. Must have tabs. <laughs> I actually went ahead and pre-cut all of May and June's tabs in this journal too. Just so you guys know. I was bored. What can I say? I actually find it quite amusing that I'm, re I'm uploading my April um, Bujo on a spring ink Quidox, so I realized halfway through the voiceover that there was another sticker pack I should probably link. The other sticker pack I bought at Walmart like two years ago and you can't find it anymore. So one hour, eight minutes to set up April and it was a very relaxing setup for me because I had my music going in the background and I was totally in the zone just and it was nice because I was not having a great day anxiety wise. But by the time I got done filming, that had come down so much. It was so wonderful. The next upload here on my channel is going to be tomorrow. That's going to be vlog 26. And, you know, if you guys enjoyed today's video and the new music I downloaded from the audio library from YouTube, leave me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe. Leave me a comment. You know, the normal YouTuber spiel. And... I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.